Th- there's like you're at the space station, so like you're all inside. Yeah, we're like traveling around the space station, picking people up. They're not like right next to each other. But if you want to be last, that's fine as well. In which case, right. uh, in which case, we had four. Good to win. Mm. Oh yeah, it is also massive. It's basically, yeah. I think it's roughly the size of New York City. Mm-hmm. If not a bit bigger. Yeah, I wasn't sure if we were gonna have like pretty much everyone like in the same little like no, setting no, no. or not. That's yeah. I like, wasn't curious. Like he's he's spending all day, probably even multiple days, doing this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right. just mm-hmm. a condensing. Yes. Yeah. Because you don't want to have me say, and then I go back to sleep, wake up next day, yeah, and yeah. new companions, yeah. and come back out. Yeah, we're just <laughs> skipping travel times and mm-hmm. having to sleep. But... Yeah, okay. <laughs> mm-hmm. But yes. We'll take you last then, and we head towards Unkin and Wynn, a missionary, uh, to spread the Emperor's light into the dark, and for the silver fountain. Hmm. You find him tending to the needy, saying prayers with them, bright red ecclesiarchy robes with uh, parrot purity seals all over, saying mm-hmm. prayers gently mm-hmm. to those in need. Okay. Uh-huh. He, he does not notice your approach <laughs> since you are, since he is so concerned with his prayers and talking to the less fortunate. Mm-hmm. Matthias Sadoase stands there for a moment, giving you the time to do the Emperor's good word. However, if it takes long enough, his patience will wear thin. So it's up to you if you notice him before that happens. Mm-hmm. He notices you and not, not looking your way, says. And what in the Emperor's destiny brings you here, young master? Why, the Emperor's own will, or at least those of his servants. I am a newly proclaimed rogue trader, Matthew's trade of the Drain Dynasty. I am seeking those worthy, skill, and uh, uniquely suited for a mission into the deep dark to kill Captain Red Eye. Mm-hmm. And so I have come to you. And how may this hand of the Emperor serve? Why, the Emperor first, my house second, and me third, of course. Hmm. Now, if you speak about those whose mission they served, they served themselves first, Emperor second, if at all. Hmm. And what would you have of me? I would have you on my ship. Speak the word of the Emperor and mine as well, as we travel traverse the stars in our quest to rid this universe of the wrath of the re- of Captain Red Eye. Mm-hmm. I can't say I'm familiar. He a heretic? Traitor? A pirate lord betrayed the Empire and now controls a large part of the system. Ten rogue traitors have gone and died in his wake. Mm-hmm. So you wish to grant the Emperor's mercy and the Emperor's wrath, and that is why you come to me, yes? Correct. Why else would I? Mm. I was just like fucking priests. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm having fun doing this. Mm-hmm. I, I know. <laughs> Speak no more, for he will bear the Emperor's wrath. No. Lead the way. Very well, you're welcome to mount to my ship. Uh-huh. He stops and picks up a hammer that is about as large as you and straps it to his back. <laughs> oh, we're gonna get on, huh? <laughs> Friends at first sight. <laughs> mm-hmm. 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 Just be like when he puts down the arms cough and then opens it up. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking dick measuring contest. For the rest of the time. <laughs> <laughs> like big hammer. No, give me a moment. Pulls out a <laughs> pulls out a bigger hammer. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh-huh. um. I just wanted to emphasize the hammer because I'm kind of, I am kind of. Um... Over the moon about having a thunder hammer. Uh-huh. <laughs> it's my favorite forty k weapon. Could hear the giddy that's a lot. Thunder hammer. Mm-hmm. So yeah, uh, Jade, you notice uh, 
What's your character notice? Sakispis, your old friend. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. Do you notice your old friend in the company of the rogue trader? Yeah, I remember mm -hmm. we discussed a, an option I wanted to confirm. Like, do you still want to go with that bit that Sakispis and Unke didn't have a shared uh, backstory or not really? Childhood friends, I believe the idea was. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So. Uh -huh. yeah, I'll him. recognize him. I'll recognize him. Nod. Yeah. Says, good to see you, old friend. Mm. And continue on. <laughs> ah, yes. <laughs> yeah, good, to, good to see you as well, uh, preacher. I don't mm -hmm. know what's the proper way of saying it, like pre preacher or a priest or like respectable. Anyways, yeah. Mm -hmm. But the others catch that, that, yeah, we know each other. Mm -hmm. Oh, my old friend. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. I must not kill you. <laughs> I'll just look at him. You, I'll just look at him, and you picked a good man. Mm -hmm. Let me smile at you. Yes. Uh, my, uh, how do I say? I'm an excellent judge of character. Mm -hmm. And then he does a sigh. Last on our list, uh, we need somebody named Nen Y four and C four seven. An explorer and member of the Mechanicus. I hopefully knew where I'd find them. Hmm? Uh, <laughs> Emergency <laughs> meeting. <laughs> Just look for something flying in the sky with a rainbow chasing it. Uh, all right. Well, as I said, uh, you want to like describe, uh, describe it? I, you go with I, I would say, Atro, while you guys hear like, Rummaging and muttering down an alleyway, you see a uh, like a robe figure just like sorting through uh, refuse bins and, and the such. If anyone no looks, Matthias has a bit of a pained expression on his face, but he continues forward. Mm -hmm. Jace, Jace just looks fucking confused. <laughs> <laughs> what the Empress name? <laughs> yes, yes, it's so nice. Can you use it later? Nice Jesus, I, I like understood half of that. <laughs> I didn't catch any of that. Yeah, if you're, cool if you're using everything. voice mod, you can like lower the mix. Like in my experience, like the mix should be like below ten to like so the others can understand. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, this would do nicely. Yeah. Well, that's good. Mm -hmm. That's not better, actually. Uh -huh. N Y for N. I am Matthias Strain, and I have heard of your expertise. Mm -hmm. I would like to invite you to my ship. My, my character pretty much like still ignored you while looking through more for more technology. <laughs> All right, leave this one. Let's go. I mean, what? <laughs> yes, yes. What is your one flashback? Yeah. Right, right. Yes. The borderline Cockney accent. Uh, did did we lose Julius? I, I don't know. <laughs> oh, am I not sure why my mic muted itself? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let me try that again. Matthew Strain takes a deep breath once again and just goes, "All right, on our quest to defeat the Red uh, Captain Red Eye, we will traverse many planets, some unexplored for centuries, if not more." Uh, and no, never mind the treasures of his own personal belongings. Precious, specifically technology beyond your wildest imagination. That is what I offer you in exchange for your services on board my ship. Ah, technology, you say? Ancient wonders, I find. You give this to me, yeah? Yes, indeed. Weapons and technology. Ancient and unknowable. Pleasure mm -hmm. true to anyone such as you. 
<laughs> good, good. Wishing I come back to this world, yeah. If you do your job, I'm certain anything can be possible. So, do we have a deal? You make good on your deal. I give you what you want. But if you lie, you become part of Machine God. Yeah. By the Emperor's own name, I am no liar. You're welcome aboard. Mm hmm. Now follow me. We have a pirate to kill. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, <laughs> don't think I didn't hear it. That was great, though. <laughs> He's doing it on purpose because that's part of his character. <laughs> just fucking died. <laughs> no, face of like, what the fuck did I just sign up for? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly right. Between the tech. Between the tech priest, the psyker, the missionaries, like, what the fuck? Oh, uh, we're, uh, we're just one big band of fucking freaks. So, as you all return to this, I was going to say, when the most normal one out of us is a soldier with PTSD. <laughs> five, five, five insanity points. Still the most sane imperial soldier. <laughs> so, uh, as you all eventually return to the space bus, mm -hmm. yes, like, you get in, you get into a shuttle and have to fly back out to it because I mean it's not a, it's like a short, like, probably 10-15 minute flight, but... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As you dock and the uh, uh, shuttle leaves, there is a very tall figure waiting for you. Mattias knows who this character is. And he's... Breaking around seven feet tall, gangly limbs, and he's staring at you with three eyes. Mm -hmm. Two where they normally would be, and one in his forehead. He just looks to Thrain and be like, These are the others, then. Correct. Mm -hmm. uh, those you will guide yes, along the galaxy. No, well, it's our navigator. Please, please treat him with respect. I would rather not end up lost in the void. Mm. Keep the astropath away from my chambers, and the rest of them, well, all of them, preferably, but definitely the astropath. Mm -hmm. You'll just nod and head away. Mm -hmm. I wasn't really me. planning. Oh, oh well. <laughs> oh, yes, another freak to add to the collection. <sighs> uh... Please forgive his bluntness. It's the best I could find. It's such a short measure. He'll guide us where we should, where we'll need to be, and not distract us too much. Mm -hmm. I mean, the the void can be nice, but uh, I agree. Getting lost is not probably not fun. Yes. He's just not happy to have been assigned to this fucking shit. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. So, just be off. Mm -hmm. Brain's legacy. Mm -hmm. In which case, uh, mm -hmm. yes. Where would you like to head? Well, currently we are at Port Wonder, which is way oh, all the way to the right, yes. Yep. Uh -huh. Do we happen to have any information about any nearby worlds, or do we just pick one and hope for the best? Mm -hmm. You can roll common knowledge empire on them, and 
If you have any more specific knowledges you'd like to roll, let me know. Okay. Common Knowledge Empire. Mm -hmm. And I was, let's see, which one are you wanting to check? Well, let's see. And you do have the basic information with the key there. So like, you know, like the temple is a dead world, for instance. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh -huh. As I'm currently in our character, don't really quite have a clear, clear view where to go. Uh huh. I'll let you pick something and say that my character came up with a good idea to go there, if you are okay with that. Otherwise, let's see. What is Damaris? So those are unclassified worlds. Mm -hmm. And what that means, out of character, uh, I use the uh, roll up a new world stuff. Yeah. Uh, what that means in character is it's there on the chart, but you don't have any, any information on it. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Let's see. Or what is the battleground as well? Is it just a bunch of dead hulks flying over? Um, you get this: is that legend has it that the battleground was an ancient wreckage field, even before the rogue traders Traim and Edemus Lathamon fought here to mutual destruction over the ragged worlds. A vast span of debris swirls slowly under the dim starlight, most of it imperial, spread across the empty void. Every crew has dozens of tales as to what happened here long before the rogue traders traversed the mall. Mm -hmm. So it is an ancient, ancient wreckage site. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. Let's head to the ancient wreckage site. See what we can find. All right. That means I get to do fun stuff. But Gideon already has the delusions of grandeur. Mm hmm. Your delusions of grandeur ain't here, huh? In the words of Urkeld, Heihachi. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I need to roll a couple things. What was the stat roll? Was it... It was 2d10 plus 25? Mm. Yes. Not much better, but I'm just going to ignore that one because it's no fun if you guys can't go anywhere. Mm. <laughs> like, like maybe in the future when you're trying to warp away, but when you're just leaving the starter system. 
the, the navigator just fucking bailed us to check to find the Astronomicon. <laughs> by by four it. degrees, which means he can't find it. Like, uh, and like, and either have to make a navigation test at minus sixty, or just can't do it. Period. <laughs> We do. We just go back to port one and go. You're off the team. We'll find another one. <laughs> <laughs> I will keep doing that until somebody gets it. <sighs> they are in fact all the same navigator. All right, so I will just get best of that now. I will have Julius roll me a D one hundred, and then pick high or low. Well, he didn't pick high or low first, so yeah. I'll give him. Oh fuck's sake! I keep muting myself, but yes, I said low, but I'll re-roll it. We can say low again. Mm-hmm. Ah, that's what's happening when I'm chilling and eating. Well, well, okay. well, now you've picked low, so the good outcome happens. Yeah. You, you, so, does everyone here generally understand what happens when you enter and leave the warp with a ship? Or should I describe that? Uh, I, mean, anyway. I, feel like you, I feel like you all know enough about 40k to know the general details of it's a good how you the know. Mm-hmm. Like the whole shutters close and into the warp and the gallow fields activate to keep you from screaming yourselves to death. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, like I said, I figured just do quick reader's digest. Yeah. Gallow fields, they're arguably the most important part of the uh, ship because they are what keep demons and shit from infesting the ship. While in the warp. Well, really, it actually keeps the materium still from as material while still being in the in materium. If that makes sense. Yeah. Um. You would note specifically, uh, Neon over there, that um, the gallant fields on this ship are uh. We'll we'll be nice and say that they're second hand. <laughs> Not so nice. Um, they're kind of shit. <laughs> they work, <laughs> but that's about it. Uh, if anyone finds it out, Matthias just looks them in the eyes and goes, "I did say suicide mission, did I not?" Mm. Yeah, we just didn't expect like, the suicide to be at the start. They're, they're not failing. Mm -hmm. But, you know, it's a distinct possibility that they could easily fail on their own, mm -hmm. let alone under any pressure. Yes, so as you can tell, we daily have a few upgrades that need to be done to the ship before it is perfect. Yes, that's the word I'm looking for. I mean, TPK mm -hmm. is a bit rough. I mean, you might be fucking dead there, mm -hmm. Matt, but... I feel like if there's anyone who figures it out, there's probably the, guy, the psycho. <laughs> <laughs> any case, as you leave the warp and everything's a whole, whole, whole of a hell lot better, you barely miss uh, phasing into a wreckage. Mm -hmm. As you enter, what would first be thought as an asteroid field, but as the shutters open, you realize it is in fact the site of an ancient battle. Mm -hmm. Ships floating around, silent, holes blasted through them, some of them in two or more pieces. Mm -hmm. Mostly it is just bits of 
metal and other debris just floating around silently. Mm -hmm. There are a number of planets in this system, but none of them capable of supporting life. Just rocks covered mm -hmm. in craters and pits. Either from asteroids or from weapons. Mm -hmm. And I roll to see what Jace may know about this particular battle. <laughs> roll me if you have common knowledge Empire or Pronus Expanse, you can roll that. If you have anything else relevant, let me know. Do you have common law war? <laughs> Go ahead. Uh. Hey. These are not from any one particular battle. There are particular battles that you know of that have been fought over this system. Or in this system. But from what you know this system has been an ancient battleground before the Imperium even arrived. Hmm. Ancient hits the wreckage from long before. Uh, an adventurer may perhaps find something worth taking, or nothing that's worth taking. Yes, yes. We may, may we stop? Ancient technology we find. Yeah. Ancient and broken, but yes. Can you see it there? Do you have any perchance any ability to tell us? Tell us the difference between junk and treasure. Mm -hmm. It is all treasure in the eye of the machine god. For I shall fix it and be his chosen one. Yeah. This is uh well this has been a this is certainly a battle that's been around for a while. Huh? Mm -hmm. Even before even before we got here. Huh? The Empire though. The Imperium that is. Mm-hmm. Get a call from the navigator, mm -hmm. and he notes that there are other smaller ships moving about the system. Mm -hmm. It'd be pirates. Wouldn't surprise me. Uh, imagine there's, imagine there's a killing to be made here in terms of salvage tech. Mm -hmm. Losers, raiders, and all the like. And Teddy is looks a bit uncomfortable, but it might not be the best idea to engage them with the ship. You know. Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't quite know the ship's stats. <laughs> <laughs> My shoe is not good. <laughs> I mean, let's say it has the fighting capability of a bus as well. <laughs> Hooray, we can ram our, we can ram other ships to death. No, no, so, no, so, no. It has guns, maybe. <laughs> so what you're saying is we're a bang bus. <laughs> the guns are right, attacked, dude. The guns are attacked with forks that hang out on the hall. Mm -hmm. We are in fact a bang bus because we're going to be the ones getting fucked. <laughs> Wait. Only... Possibly, yes. The, the only thing I could think of is that if it is pirates, is well, they don't want to destroy ships, do they? They want to. They want to salvage what's on them. Huh? Letting them board. <laughs> let, let, them, let them board maybe an idea. Huh? Mm, if we wanted to go down that route, Captain. Perhaps then I should test, test the skill of my new crew. I like the guardsman's idea. Let yeah. them come. Why don't oh, we... God. Poor choice of words. <laughs> <laughs> from, the from the father as well. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, what? Oh, look, if it isn't the Imperial Eclipse, it was. Yeah, I can't fucking pronounce the word. God damn it. <laughs> Ecclesiology. I know little Timmy strapped your leg. Progress. Uh-huh. Nice for the football. It's because we jumped in his. <laughs> uh, but yes, yeah, so that, that is the idea that um, yes, former Thug yeah. Malachi is proposing. I, like that I, I do uh, like that idea. If they're foolish enough to board an entire force, perhaps they will find something to sell on their ship. Navigator, would you kindly bring us towards them? Take off our lights? Make us look like just another abandoned ship as of late, drifting to space emptily. See if they're foolish enough to join us. As you guys 
start slowly drifting closer to the targets. Mm-hmm. You are able to catch a glimpse of the ship through the windows of the bridge, which mm-hmm. if all of you have played Dark Tide, it is a fucking cathedral. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, like, probably not to the level of Dark Tides was, but like that that's kind of par for the course for the Imperial, for the mm-hmm. Empire. It's like, let's use actual fucking windows on the spaceship. Why not? <laughs> Anyways, the ship that you see in particular that he's drifting towards looks scrapped together like someone has taken parts of other ships and just kind of welded them together. Oh god, is it orcs? (laughs) And it does in fact seem to be almost have uh, parts of the ship itself that looks like a crane arm, like crane arms, that is just slowly cutting apart pieces of ships and other salvage, and then moving it to a cargo bay. Mm. Uh, I suspect. I suspect this may be a ship more suited for the purpose of mm, salvaging the battleground. Anyone who has knowledge Xenos, you can roll it. Knowledge Xenos. Mm. I got nothing here. Nope. Yeah, you guys have no idea. Must be some weird pirates or even just salvagers. (laughs) They're not particularly doing anything illegal. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do we see the Emperor's sign anywhere on the ship? You do not. Hmm. Actually. <laughs> broken and, bu- and bruised. Uh, and pieces mangled together. Mm. Yes. Uh, you do, but it doesn't look on purpose. Uh-huh. Like, more like parts of the ship had it that were welded together onto the ship. Mm-hmm. And they just... So, it, it could be they're using that to say that they're aligned with the Emperor, or it's just a coincidence. Mm-hmm. Well, whatever the ship is, I do believe our, our fine vessel we might be able to take on a scrapper like this. So, I look to you, missionary. Uh-huh. Do you think these are aligned with the Emperor? Because my eyes held doubt for the holiness and the Majesty's eyes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What the fuck is a Tacita Imperialist? <laughs> Imperialist oh, that doesn't talk? Oh, that, that's Tactica Imperialist. I fucking didn't put that wrong. <laughs> fuck me. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Jay. <laughs> Well, Jay, you got any answers? Mm? Nope, apparently not. Nothing. Nothing. All right. I mean, the only thing I could say is that the only thing my character would be interested in is if there's any obvious iconography or potential artifacts for the Emperor. I mean, did you hear what I said? Mm Mm-hmm. I probably did, and it's probably already out the other ear. Could you repeat, please? I'm sorry. Well then, missionary. I think I'll leave this one up to you. Their, how do I say, their allegiance to the Emperor, emperor seems to be fickle at, be- uh, at best. Uh, and I myself doubt the devotion to the brilliant majesty. Hmm? So, for a, for, for a roleplay, um, Essentially, what we're seeing is they're literally taking apart the cathedral part of a well, ship and rewelding it together. Um, the ship itself looks welded together, and it is taking apart parts of a ship and then just putting it in the cargo bay. So it's just like scrapping metal from a ship. Hmm. 
They'd be like us. Now they're trying to reclaim in the Emperor's name. I do not know. This is not my area of expertise. Mm -hmm. Oh, fuck, I forgot. Yeah, the fucking Rogue Trader can just give free plus tens to people. Mm -hmm. oh. uh, give me a moment. I can focus and see that maybe what our eyes cannot see, maybe my, my mind will be able to spot from the, you know, other side. And then I... Sakespis begins to focus and tries to feel. The first thing is, is you feel a um, deep sense of <clears throat> not uh, not hatred, but like a step down from that. But especially it's the navigator. He really doesn't like you. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you, you, you get that ping first. <laughs> yep, yep, that's completely fair. And um, I'm trying to find where they are at because I remember that they're in one of the books, but are they just in the core book? Hmm. I would imagine Maybe. if we are talking about the same creature, that they definitely would be in all in the war. Dark heresy, maybe? No, um, they are in Rogue Trader, and it oh. is not what you think it is, probably. Ah, oh, okay. Uh, it's just <laughs> stat box. Also, like the fact that, yeah, we have like a short backstory. In his, like, internal thoughts, still <laughs> calls Astropath a freak. Which, I mean, it's fair. Here we go. Do they use psychers? The suspicion is high among the crew. Everyone watches each other. Mm -hmm. Fucking psychic bastards! <laughs> he's not saying that, he's just keeping an eye on. Psychic mm -hmm. bastard that, that was survived being soul bound to the mighty gumped emperor himself. Yeah, no, he's, he's not saying that, of course, he's just yeah, watching. Yeah. I feel like he's getting that vibe from you staring at him, though. <laughs> probably, he's dead. probably suspicious. <laughs> No, well, I wouldn't trust psychers because they can turn. But I'm not going to sit there and be openly hostile. It's just going to be cocked and... Yeah, it's, it's it's distrust and caution as opposed to like outright hatred on his end as well. <laughs> that's fair, that's fair. You, you yeah. just see my character like nose up to uh, what's say do his character go? Ready, bye. Right, the sick buddy. I must know more about these. Yeah. Calm down. We are we are trusting our psyker to do our work, figuring out what exactly we are facing. If they are of the Emperor's kin or not. Mm -hmm. If they are not, you will have your share of the bounty. Mm. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, you do not detect any psychers on their ship. You are unsure if your rage just didn't go far enough, or if they are in fact just have no psychers. Hmm. Well. Okay. Uh, I don't feel anyone like me on the ship, but uh, I tilt my head, scratch my chin, but I, uh, I'm not sure. Maybe, maybe they are slightly too far away. Um, How does one traverse the void without a navigator? They have to be Xenos. Mm. That's that's probable, yes. Mm -hmm. But that they didn't. Uh, my education didn't cover that, so uh, well. Mm -hmm. At least we eliminated one option. <laughs> Indeed, it seems so. Mm -hmm. It looks like we may have a course set out for us. Uh -huh. This ship will carry itself at a pinch. But... 
I have a feeling some boarding action might just be the thing to do. Turn the tables on them. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean... Let us hail them upon Imperial... Imperial... Actually, no, wait a second. <laughs> I turned to look at Sekispis. Uh, hail them upon their channels, you astropath traveler takes. If they do not respond, then they are not of the Empire. Mm -hmm. Navigator, take us to him. Of course, yep. of course. Uh, and if they turn hostile, and if you manage to grab one of them alive, uh, I can try to, I can drill into his head, into his memories. Mm -hmm. We shall keep that in mind. Uh, okay, just in case, because that might like show I, you know, yeah, I will try to go like, obviously, take my time, because sending messages takes a moment. Uh, but also, basically using language or cipher that astropaths should usually know, so I can, you know, make sure that we are talking with, wh with, whom, with whom we are talking. Uh -huh. uh, would... Would... Uh, would... Uh, would with would, would Matthias still be helping with the plus ten? Because you can give that basically every round. Mm -hmm. Basically, think about this: as long as it's not a hectic situation and you're not doing things at the same time, you have a plus ten on the ship. Otherwise, okay. I'm gonna be doing stuff. So that would be yep. just barely a success. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so, as you're going closer, um, the ship does indeed notice you and stops its salvage operations and. Mm -hmm. uh, while Sekispis doesn't get a response, the ship itself is being hailed, which is generally not normal, but mm -hmm. does still happen, like it's kind of backups in case your astropath's head explodes. <laughs> <laughs> and that is what's being hailed. Like, like I'm, I'm, like I'm sure the the ships would have like backup comms in All case right. of astropath issues. Very well. So we are yeah. starting to accelerate towards them. Matthew yeah. Strain opens up the radio or whatever communication device it is. Yep. And speaks. It's like yeah. you hear in somewhat broken low gothic. Numercomers, yes, yes, here to trade. Buy salvage. Wait. <laughs> Matthew stopped for a moment, like, who are you? Traitors, nomads, peaceful folk. Mm. <laughs> you see the Sir Man Emperor, yes, yes. <laughs> you see, like, gear standing in Matthew's team of <laughs> traitors. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> would just, just imagine an entire crew is just like thirsting for blood while Matthias is like traitors, huh? <laughs> I, I do have to ask: Would that would that way of speaking be familiar to Jace at all to Malachi, who has probably served alongside Ratlings? If if they you are, you served, know. Sir, you've served alongside Ratlings. And this does not sound like ratlings. Okay. For for the Inter, ratlings are not rat folk; they are halflings. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. they're, they're, yeah, ratlings aren't scaven; they're halflings. Okay. Mm -hmm. They're just called ratlings because they're small and get into rat-like places. <laughs> into rat-like and places. are kind of furry. <laughs> yeah, they're also not hostile to anyone. So like wait. even even the Imperium tolerates them. Wait, so are we? Yeah, is there halflings and rat folk, or what are we talking about? Mm -hmm. I, th I thought we don't know exactly what they are yet. Yeah, n nobody has nobody had um, nobody had like Xenos knowledge. Mm -hmm. Yeah, unless someone does and they want to bring it up right now, but uh... Mm -hmm. uh, I don't think I do. But let me double check. So, so someone does, wants to bring up Zeno Stalin, right the fuck now. <laughs> <laughs> nope, I only know Imperial Navy lore, Imperial Creed lore, Heresy, 
That's it. Okay. Wait, mm-hmm. would Imperial uh were Imperial Creed be applicable? Or Imperial Navy because they're true known traitors? Outlaw Imperial Navy. And yes, you can have your plus ten. From uh Julius. Mm-hmm. Wow. I had a fifty-three on that, and I still fail. Yeah, you can you can you can spend a fate point temporarily to re-roll. A yeah, test. let me let me do that. <laughs> and I recall those are by session. Yes, they yeah they are yeah. Mm-hmm. Which is <laughs> frankly easier to handle than by yeah. day, like in Warframe. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. It's like mm-hmm. man, I'm out of fate points. Hey guys, want to end early? <laughs> <laughs> like guys i'm about to do a really important test can we do this next week mm. <laughs> Roll the 77 and an 85 jesus christ it's just not meant to be yeah Sometimes it just doesn't work out well you suddenly don't have any more information i suppose one thing maybe knowledge commerce hang on Roll something it. i probably can do Okay. But like I said, if you think you have knowledge that fits, sure. ask. Bollocks. Can no, you no. give yourself plus 10? Did you yeah. add it? Nope. I, can't. I am a leader. I can't really be like, you got this, Marius Train. You got this. There, 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 there is a second thing that you can do, which may be useful for this. You can, technically it would have to be before the dice are rolled, but you can give yourself a plus 10 bonus to a test mm. with, with burn, by burning uh, one of the points. Uh, Rather by spending. Yes. <laughs> yes. You don't want to burn yet. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm going to try it. I, I, ma, how do I say the, my character's a bit of a merchant? Mm-hmm. So, if, if, it, may, it may work, may not, but he's tried thinking like, have I heard anything about these? As it's uh, possibly uh, heretical, would you like me to send you it to your, in a message or just say it out loud? <laughs> uh, up to you. I'm fine with either. The one you think is funnier. Mm-hmm. You've heard of these. More as a rumor in passing. Mm-hmm. Nothing that is officially known, in quote marks, if that makes sense. Yep. These are likely Strixis. Scavengers, merchants. They're, while they are known to be. Well, some of them are known to be pirates and are somewhat more ruthless. Uh, Generally, if they are merchants, they are peaceful in that they will defend themselves, but won't attack. However, in their own society, it's somewhat known that they are... They, they, they can't be trusted themselves. Like, they won't, back, they won't like backstab you and shoot you as you're leaving. But, like, they'll go ahead and sell information that you were... Like, where they saw you, if someone asked, kind of thing. So, basically, slightly untrustworthy merchants. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They're mm-hmm. neutral, or the yeah. only loyalty is money. And they're basically willing to sell anything and everything they have. Mm-hmm. Well, <laughs> Matthew just looks a bit like out of his like wet uh, comfort zone a bit, and I wasn't expecting the first scene as I need to be merchant. Uh, Mm-hmm. You know, it looks at the merchant. I've heard so much about the terrible demons and stuff like these. But these don't sound much worse than your average merchant. Mm-hmm. In fact, they sound almost more trustworthy. You can trust that they're probably going to betray you at some point. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. You know, Sila, Xenos aims may lie with the Emperor from time to time, but that means they are no worthy reason to trust. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, if they're not going to be openly hostile, we may as well just get going then. Huh? No, no, no. Let's not be too hasty. Like, your scanners do indicate that what weapons they do have are powering up. Oh. <laughs> In the sense that... Well, hang on. I got an idea. Um, it I'll be asking seem- for information, then. Yeah. They for, for the Navy, everything. Yeah. For the Navy guy, it's obvi- more obvious that they're powering up weapons in case you are a hostile ship. Mm-hmm. Especially mm-hmm. being Imperial. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, what was the plan, Uniki? We can ask them for information. They'll sell anything, yes? Correct. In fact, it was... Uh, I'm not sure what my family would think back, but I have a feeling I might be able to offer them a couple of... Uh, perhaps some mer- mer- merchantile benefits. Let us hail the ship, head in there. Don't open fire unless they begin the fight, and if so, we'll have a scrapyard of a ship. Come on, let's go. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. And you are able to fly in. And do you want to do this over ship comms, or do you want to try to do it in person? Mm-hmm. Ship comms, because they'll probably shoot us if we try to dock. I mean, I would say probably face to face, given that our ship is complete garbage. Um, uh, That'd be the kind of thing like you tell them you want to talk face to face and then yeah. try to dock. You don't just you just don't mm-hmm. just try to dock. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'd say face to face. I feel a lot more comfortable docking, and if they do happen to betray us in person, we have Hang quite on. a few characters mm-hmm. here. Brains can... Legacy coming into dock. Please, please be ready to receive us. We uh, we have much to speak of. Oh. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes. Come, come. I think for this, though, um, Jace is going to take out the uh, Hell Gun as opposed to the Melter Gun. Actually, how... how wh- I'll put the Warhammer, the Warhammer chat. This is what they look like. Uh, that's, <laughs> those look fucking weird. Um, <laughs> I'm, try- I'm trying to think how like long or wide ship corridors usually are. Uh, Eight feet. Uh, yeah. it, it's usually about um, two meters and change from what I remember reading books. Okay, it's wide enough for one to two space marines. Okay, there. in that okay, in that case, he'll be uh, he'll be he'll have the melter gun out there in that case because that's that's got a twenty meter range. <laughs> yeah, like it's wide enough that if it needs to host space marines, it can. <laughs> yeah, so. Hell gun will be re- remaining in the arms coffer, but he'll have the um, actual melter gun sort of strapped to his back, ready to draw. Mm-hmm. The militant and the missionary bragging about how much so, they hate. So there are higher species, and the government and system of laws, if they have such an organization, is either so complex as to be incomprehensible to humanity, or is simply completely non- non-existent. <laughs> What it's considered possibly too complex for the Imperium bureaucracy to understand. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're just having too much fun with this. <laughs> like, so, yes, Matt, it's basically that and then add in Skaven society. <laughs> Minus the whole try to murder you as soon as see you. Yes. Try to but like, you, try to murder your they, they backstab each other all the time. Mm-hmm. Let me back. They probably just learned that backstabbing Imperials don't tend to go well for them. Mm-hmm. Or at least do it smartly. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. You are able to 
talk with them, and just do you wish to have them come onto your ship, or do you wish to go onto their ship? Mm. Let us receive. They are requesting you come onto their ship so you can see more of their wares. <laughs> They're trying to sell us stuff, so that would make more sense. Yes, let us head to their ship. <laughs> mm-hmm. So, in the cargo bay, you see a number of Imperial fighters. There's a Valkyrie sitting over there. There's what appears to be the turret of a Bane Blade. Not the whole tank, just, just the turret. <laughs> sitting off to the side, leading up against one of the walls. It's a rather large cargo bay. Basically, it's their... Uh, Hangar bay, but they've just been using it for cargo. Fucking turret of a bane blade, Jesus Christ. And there is a gathering of five of them. They're in their cloaks. The description of them, I have that. Da da da. Here we go. They are somewhat truly hideous. They're gangling multi-eyed creatures resembling roughly a human-sized skinned dog embryo. Hold in that revulsion. (laughs) Their face is reminiscent of a bulldog with four small beady eyes. I greet you in the name of the Emperor. Yes, yes. Um, greetings in the name of Man God. <laughs> That's acceptable enough, I think. Get into a deep theological debate whether that's enough to burn them and kill everyone on the ship. Like, like mm. they're obviously not trying to be like openly insulting and heretical. No, they're trying. They're trying to be polite by yeah. saying that. <laughs> and they're like many wares here. Other wear, other wares. Information. What would you like to buy? Uh, and what do you have to offer? Turn to Matthias and it's like you need information. This might be the trip people to ask. Yes, the one should. The Emperor world. willed us to meet them. Hmm. Sounds yes. That doesn't even seem to be the cho- uh, be how it goes. Or uh, hmm. Matthias looks at them. Well, first and foremost, information. As we are, ah, yes, as we are exploring the system, I'd like to know any information that you may have picked up that others of our kin may not have. Um. Uh, how do I say? As my reward and treatment, my mercantile empire, though diminished, still reaches far. Mm. Ask and perhaps you might be received it. Mm. They um huddled together for a bit. Talk monk like talking amongst themselves in a strange guttural moose barking language. Then uh the one that seems to be the leader speaks up. General information we have much information. Mm-hmm. For everything it would cost I'm a lot. Here. Specifics can be given. Specify lots. Are we talking spaceship, a planet, the the crop, uh, the crop yield of a agricultural planet here, the yield? Hmm. Half half your ship. 
or what? How to kill uh, Captain Red Eye? Oh, just, just what part of the conversation have I missed? <laughs> and are we um, on our ship? Ba basically, uh, Julius is like, I want any of the information you have that Zetas might have that Imperials won't. And they're just like, that would be expensive. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so, so they're wanting half the ship, is that right? <laughs> yes. Yeah, but they'll, they'll take half the ship as payment. <laughs> yes, we'll make um, it very far without half the ship, so that's probably not going to happen. Mm. <laughs> that seems a little bit... Uh, uh, you asked for a very broad amount of information. Uh, true enough, true enough. Perhaps we should narrow it down. Do you know... What do you know about... He pulls out a star chart. Uh, the planet we call Damaris, Grace, and Rain. Hmm. <laughs> we have information, yes. Cost. Cost. Mm. One warp shield. Um, um, oh god, Gellerfield. I don't suppose you take a delayed payment. I'm sure we could find something along the lines of Fourth Wonder delivered to you. But just kind of start uh, barking in what you can probably assume is laughter, as mm -hmm. the main one says, no. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no delayed payment. Up front. Yeah, so let's just hand over our main means of defense. I know you have you. multiple yellow fields on the ship. The ship that size, you probably have three. My character's head looks up over to you, he's like... You give technology away, you want to anger machine gun, but you want to anger me, yeah. That's really is just a dark tide party, holy fuck. It is, it's great. <laughs> the, um, first, the first principle of any mercantile trade is give and take. We give something small and get something bigger. Um, but I'm not sure you have anything worth offering this bigger thing. Don't kill the field as well. Hmm? Sell kill the field as well, if want to buy. <laughs> I got to remember stuff on my mind, draw a blank on something. Mm -hmm. uh, I got to book the other, one of the other books. Give me a second. No. Uh, Currently, Matthew's trade is a bit of an impasse, as he doesn't really have much he can offer right now. Mm -hmm. As with other Imperials, he'd be able to at least offer the credit or something like that, but these are Xenos. They don't trust him, well, anywhere, really. Mm -hmm. And he promises of wealth or... Yeah, but i to offer credits. Mm -hmm. uh, so I, say, I say we just get out of it. Captain, I don't think we're going to be able to get anywhere with these. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, quick rundown. It sounds like it's breaking down. It's not breaking down. It's more like uh, Matthias doesn't have anything he can offer that's tangible enough for them. He isn't willing to sell one of the, I think, three gather fears we have for the information, considering it's already struggling. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's the big thing, is that... Mm -hmm. um... If it was more stable, he'd consider it, you know, out of pure mercantile interest. Um, uh, but as it, as it is... Uh, we wouldn't live long enough for that information to be worth it. Uh -huh. Yeah. That, that's, the, that's the big thing. Uh -huh. What do I start with? Yeah, it's, it's, yeah it's, it's not that things are breaking down, it's just we're currently at an impasse in terms of like trade stuff. Mm -hmm. i try something. Let's see if I can... charm them and say, hey, maybe something that would not endanger the lives of our crew? What? Yeah! <laughs> Jesus, I can't roll with shit today! Uh, oof. 92! 
Oh. <lacht> ja. Ja. 